greater uh, uh, or more expanded gun control? Sheriff Hanlon forgets that uh, common sense and reasonable, moderate gun safety regulations have, in fact, been held up as constitutional. Jennifer Lynch, welcome to Democracy Now! First of all, talk about the reaction in the community to this horrific killing, the massacre that took place yesterday at Umpqua Community College. Well, well of course, the reaction is always horror, but, frankly, never surprise. These things happen entirely too often. It always feels like they could happen close to home. Um, and. This time, it was our turn. And it was especially ironic that this occurs only uh, a, f a couple of months after you had a, a new laws for background checks uh, in, uh, uh, in Oregon. Could you talk about your campaign there? That's right. So, for the third time in three years, the Oregon legislature considered a bill expanding a background check on uh, the uh, the sale of firearms to include every firearm sale that includes private sales between two individuals, including two individuals who met online. This is a bill that uh, gun violence prevention organizations in Oregon have been campaigning for since 2013. Um, and we were met with resistance in the 2013 and 2014 state legislative sessions. And so, as such, we worked to change the state legislature. This year, the bill was reintroduced uh, and was able to pass both chambers. It was signed into law by the governor this May. Uh, your response to the sheriff uh, and his stands in the past on this issue of greater uh, uh, or more expanded gun control? Sheriff Hanlon forgets that uh, common sense and reasonable, moderate gun safety regulations have, in fact, been held up as constitutional, first of all, repeatedly. Uh, and secondly, he forgets that, as a you know, law enforcement officer, his first duty is to protect the people of Douglas County, not to advance his own political agenda or his own interpretation of what the Second Amendment does and does not allow for. Uh, the true insult to the people of Douglas County is that they were victims of a horrendous mass shooting on the campus of a public institution. And that, truly, is where his attention should be focused today. How did a young man accumulate so many weapons and so much ammunition? How was he able to carry it unnoticed into classrooms and open fire, taking the lives of classmates, innocent bystanders? Truly, this, this is the insult that has been forced upon us. And, and this is where I would ask that his attention lie in the days and weeks ahead. Jennifer Lynch, what do you know about the young man and the weapons that he used and where he got them? Well, very little. Um, you know, as I'm sure you've seen, it's, it's, all, it's all very early. Uh, it sounds as though, um, you know, he, he had the sorts of guns that any American can purchase legally. Um, uh, and I think that what is probably more interesting is that there were Presumably, people who knew how many guns he had in his house. Um, and it's sounding as though there were people who knew that he might have had ill intent. One of the members of our organization is Sandy Hook Promise. They're launching a campaign this October called Say Something Week. It starts October 19th. They're encouraging parents, teachers, students, and everybody to speak out when there's a situation that looks like it might result in this kind of violence.